Hello everyone and welcome back to Virtual Lab Demo Videos. In this video, we are going to do encoder and decoders. So for that, you have to search on Google that vlab.co.in. Vlab.co.in. There in electronics and communication, um, we can see Digital Electronics Lab. Uh, click on this list of experiments and the implementation and verification of decoder or demultiplexer and encoder using logic gates. Click on that and you will enter the experiment. So our name of experiment is implementation and verification of decoder or demultiplexer and encoder using the logic gates. Okay. We are going to analyze the truth table of a 4 by 2 or 4 cross 2 decoder or demultiplexer using NOT gate and AND gate. Okay. NOT gate is 7404 and AND gate is 7408 and a 2 by 4 encoder using OR gate. OR gate is 7403 and understand the working of these two okay. using the help of LED display. That is our aim of that is our aim. So we are moving to the theory. So in theory, they are saying what is the by uh, what is the decoder or demultiplexer and what is an encoder. So we know that when we are using a binary code of n digit, we have two power n possible combinations of that n digit and two power n discrete elements elements of coded information, right? We are using n bit information or n bit information or n bit binary code means we can have two power n combinations of that n bits okay so that that's why we are using encoders and decoders now uh, what is a 2 by 4 decoder or demultiplexer so as the name we know that what is it is decoding something okay it is translating something in this so this is the block diagram we have if we have n input to the decoder it will convert that n inputs to 2 power n outputs. We have n input lines and it will be converted or decoded into 2 power n outputs. So that is the working of a decoder. So this is a simpler diagram of a 2 to 4 binary decoder. Okay, 2 to 4 that is we have 2 inputs and 2 power 2 that is 4 outputs. 2 to 4 binary decoder. So this is the diagram, A and B are our inputs and we are getting the output as A bar B bar, A bar B, A B bar and A B. That are the four possible outcomes from by using this A and B as inputs. So that can be represented as like this. It is a 2 by 4 binary decoder. A and B are the inputs and we are getting the output Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 that are a bar b bar a bar b a b bar and a b okay so the two table will be like this from this we can uh, infer that the whenever we are using a state that is if a b are 0 0 we are getting only the q0 output when it is 0 1 we are getting only the q1 output when it is 1 0 we are getting q2 output and when getting 1 1 we are getting q3 output so it is same as a d multiplexer okay that is why this decoder always known as a d multiplexer hmm? for corresponding uh, in a d multiplexer we are using select lines for uh, uh, for each combination of the select lines we are getting each output or each data like this here in this decoder for each combinations of input lines we are getting one output so this decoder is also known as a demultiplexer then what is an encoder encoder as the name it encodes something okay from 2 power n input lines it is encoded into n output lines and consider this 4 by 2 encoder 
a 4 by 2 encoder encodes a 4 input to 2 outputs. So this is the block diagram. We have inputs as y3, y2, y1 and y0. It is encoded into a1 and a0. This is the truth table. We have inputs y3, y2, y0, y1 and y0. When y0 is 1, we will get the output 0, 0. When y1 is 1, we will get 0, 1. When y2 is 1, we will get 1, 0. And when y3 is 1, we will get 1, 1 as the output. So, this is the theory of an encoder and decoder. Now, we will move to the simulation. Click on simulation link. We have two simulations here, decoder and an encoder. Click on decoder first. Okay, this is the diagram. So, this diagram is inbuilt or the experiment is inbuilt. We just need to connect the power supply and uh, different uh, give different inputs and obtain the outputs. That's the only needed. So, uh, click on the sub power supply on. Okay, it is on now. One now. That is uh, the power supply is on. So, listen. Uh, it is 0, 0. The inputs are 0, 0 now. And we are getting the output y3. That is our condition. When the input is 0, 0, we will get the output as y3. So, this we, we can add this on the truth table by clicking on add. So, when d1, d0 is 0, 0, we are getting y3 output. So, let us make this d1, uh, 1. That is 0, 1 case. Let us make D0, sorry, one, 0 and 1, D0, 1. Then we will get the output as Y2. Okay, it is 0, 0, we will get Y3. 0, 1, we will get Y2. And make it 1, 0. It is 1, 0 now. D1 is 1 and D, D0 is 0. And for 1, 0, we will get Y1. Click on add. Then for 1, 1 condition, we are getting y0 output. Click on add. So, these are the possible cases of inputs and outputs we have. We are uh, using a 2 by 4 decoder. That is, we have uh, 4 combinations of this 2 in uh, d0 and d1. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. For each combination, we are getting each output as a 1. Okay. So, this experiment is done. You can click on print and... Uh, we can save the preview. We can save the truth table. Okay. Uh, 2 by 4 decoder. Okay, this experiment is done. We can move to next one. Close that window and move to the next simulation that is encoder. So, this encoder diagram is also inbuilt. We just need to give the supply and give different inputs and find the outputs. So, we are using a 4 by 2 D, 4 by 2 encoder. So, we will have 4 inputs and 2 outputs here. So, switch on the power supply first. So, the power supply is on. So, the first case is every input is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. We should get the output. We should get the output as 0. So, uh, click on uh, now we will make D0 as 1. When we are making D0 as 1, we are getting the output as we are making D0 as 1 and the output is 0, 0. Okay. We are, our input is now 0, 0, 0 and 1 and our output is 0, 0. Now we are making D1 as 1. Okay. We are making D1 as 1. And we are getting the output as 0, 1. Now we are making D2 as 1. We are making D2 as 1. And we are getting the output as 1, 0. And next we are making this uh, D3 as 1. D3 is making as 1. And we are getting the output as 1, 1. So for when uh, each input line is 1. Uh, corresponding to the input line. Uh, we are getting the output. When D0 is 1. It is 0, 0. When D1 is 1, it is 0, 1. When D2 is 1, it is 1, 0. And when D3 is 1, it is 1, 1. So, this is all about the encoder. So, click on print. And save this one. I can save this one as a 4 by 2 decoder. Sorry, 4 by 2 encoder.
now our experiment is done we can close this window so we will move on to so our experiment is done now so this is all about the decoder for a demultiplexer and encoder using logic gates thank you